This video is sponsored by the Pokemon TCG deck building website PokemonCard.io. Are you looking for sealed product and singles? You can find it all on Channel Fireball. Please use my Teomon affiliate code when checking out to help support my content. Looking for PTGO codes? Photon Store has all the latest sets and promos instantly delivered to your email. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. If you're from Europe, Millipods Gaming has a wide array of sealed products, singles and more. You can use Tailmon code when checking out for 5% off. Card Market is Europe's largest online marketplace for Pokemon cards. Whether you're looking for sealed product or singles, vintage or the latest sets, just follow the link in the description to find what you need. Want to show off your love for Tailmon? Check out my 2021 merch. These new hoodies and shirts are available on Amazon. Click on the link in the description to get yours. Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be playing with the Capture Day deck that has been um, doing pretty well lately in the online tournament scene. This was first played, I believe. I may not be uh, correct, but I believe by Benjamin Pham from the Netherlands. Um, Seems like a pretty cool deck. It does focus on Persian's ability, Gathering of Cats, which allows you to ignore all energy in the attack cost of each of your Pokemon play that has a Catcher Day attack. That means we don't have to pay for Catcher Day for the Lydon to draw a card and go to sleep, but Big Bite doing 60 damage and your opponent's um, active Pokemon cannot retreat during their next turn. And the main focus of this deck will, of course, be Esper, with the ear kinesis attack doing 20 damage to one of your opponent's bench pokemon for each damage counter on that pokemon so how are we going to get damage counters we are going to utilize the roxy engine with wheezing's blow away bomb ability along with coughings which if these cards were discarded by the roxy supporter you get to place one damage counter on each of your opponent's pokemon so similar to guard of giratine i guess in a way but we also have Intilon's ability quick shooting, allowing us to put two damage counters on one of our opponent's Pokemon. Um, pretty good ability and allows us to maximize the damage for the Esper. We also have Bird Keepers and the Rowlet with the Windshare attack, allowing us to deal six damage to one of our opponent's bench Pokemon. Of course, Mew will be a big hindrance to this deck, but we do have a lot of ways to hopefully um, KO it through placement of damage counters and. We do have a ton of search with the incense, the little balls, the quick balls, the Pokecoms, and the four capture energy, so setting up shouldn't be a problem. We also have Fion to send um, the Pokemon to the bench that we might want to be attacking. And finally, we have a Hoopa to punish those big ability Pokemon, set up the damage, and then finish them off with Caturday. So let's jump into a ladder and see if we can get some cool wins with this Caturday deck excited to play this one it seems like you have to think a lot with this where you place the damage how you're going to win the game so i'm excited all right you were looking for an opponent right here also looking to finish the second page of this um ladder rewards which i do think that i need to step it up if i want to get that full art marty right all right so we win the gun flip. I do believe, like, since we're an evolving deck, we do want to go first. We want Sobbles down, we want um, Meowth down, especially. All right. So my opponent does start the Rem Raid. Should bench the Sobble, and I should establish a Meowth right here. All right. Uh, it's tempting to go for another Sobble. But I actually think I want to save this level ball to go for the Rowlet. If it's in the deck, I'm not sure. Could also go for Litten as well. We'll see. Could also go for 4-4-4 um, four, four, four Drizzle, right? And we don't know what we're up against. Could be Rabbit Strike Malamar. It could be um, Rabbit Strike Urshifu. Seeing that the Dene tells me I think we're up against Urshifu or Ice Rider. Or never mind, we're up against Police Again V Max with Zero Aura. Alright. I like the inclusions of the speed energies actually. I think they make a lot of sense. I do think they make a lot of sense. My phone seems to be falling apart for some reason. All right, there's a the Blaziken. 
there's the Passivian as well. So I'm going through a lot of cards this turn. Discarding a ton of energy too. All right. So I reckon placing the damage on the blaze again is probably my best bet off of the Rowlet if it's in here, which it is. Could KO the Remraid, however, if I found Persian and I use Litten, but I think I'm gonna go for the guaranteed damage here. And so we'll go ahead and do this. We'll draw three cards. Okay. Pretty solid um, draw, I would say. So next turn we have the Roxy to place more damage counters. Rowlet will be going down. I can establish the Persian, however. So I reckon I'm gonna level ball and get the drizzle out this turn already so I have access to Intelian next turn. I think that makes sense. And if my opponent marches me, then so be it. And we'll go ahead and one charge onto the blaze again. I, I definitely want to KO a Max if I can. That would be pretty good. So we'll see what I draw off of the Roxy. No drizzles or no sobbles down mean I have very little control over what I get to do next turn. Uh, Persian does thankfully have retreats. I do have to be careful with that um, Zero Aura, so I will be benching Mew next turn. And my opponent being down two bosses orders is actually really good right now. Really, really good. All right. Please get did more damage. That deck would be so good. All right. So poor Rowlet does get burned to bits. <laughs> poor Rowlet just got burned to little bits. Double the aura, double speed energy. Very nice. Okay, so we have a retreat. We have the Mew as well. We even got a quick pull. That's very nice. So I'm going to go ahead and Roxy first. Discarding these two. We get to place a ton of damage counters. All right. Yes, please. Okay. So eight damage counters, 20 times eight. Not quite enough to knock out the blade again this turn. However, I do have Mew. I did get Fion, which is pretty lucky. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna get rid of the Litten. I'm going to grab Esper, and so I'll send the blaze again to the bench, and I am going to target it down with your Kinesis. I will be doing 200 damage to it, it'll be left with 20 HP, and then I can finish off with quick shooting, or um, if my opponent actually knocks out my Intillion with a boss, I can go Roxy and still get the KO. I almost clicked on Cat today. <laughs> that would not have been good. All right. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I'd feel a little bit safer without Sobble down, but hey, can't have it all, right? Okay, so we see the stadium. I will we'll be able to easily switch out of that. To see a place again. So we're trading 3 for 2. <clears throat> And that's always a good trade for us. Always, always a good trade. Getting the next three prizes will not be easy, however. Well, I mean, two Esper attacks should do the trick, I feel. So I don't think I keep getting back Espers. I actually think I should be fine. I'm a little concerned about... Um, Persian, so I would love to have a second Meowth benched. If my Persian goes down this turn, which thankfully it won't, but if Persian had gotten targeted this turn, I could have been in a little bit of trouble. All right, so they power up their dudes. Spiral energy, interesting. I wonder if they play other Rapid Strike Pokemon. Okay, so I'm gonna go Roxy. Yeah, let's draw cards first, and then after we see what we get, we'll decide who gets the damage counters from the quick shooting. 
So two damage counters to all of our opponent's Pokemon thanks to the blow away bomb abilities. Blade again. <clears throat> Vmax does go down. We have a huge hand right now. All right. I mean, I definitely just want to take a knockout, right? That is the goal. Um, double Esper should do the trick. So I can do this and target down to the Dene and definitely establish uh, okay so my bird will have two Pokemon with abilities that's 50 damage so I actually kind of like setting up a Supple here because then well no that should have been Meowth I was thinking then I can get boss, but this deck doesn't play boss. It's just I'm so used to every deck playing boss, right? <laughs> I am very used to every deck playing boss. Okay, so your Kinesis, goodbye to Denny now. Very nice. One prize left. If we don't get our hand attacked, it should be game over. Oh, I forgot to use quick. No, I didn't forget. I didn't forget. I put the damage on the Denny. Nice. Solid win. Solid win. I mean, against not a tier one deck, the 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 goal, right? The real challenge is beating a tier one deck. That is a real challenge. All right. Let's see what we get paired up against next. Let's see what we get paired up against this time. See, I almost repeated myself, but I did. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to keep it under control. You know, I'm working on it. All right, we lost the coin flip. Uh, let's start with a litten instead of the coughing. That makes sense, right? Okay, my opponent starts Snorlax with double Tsinchino and everything shiny too. Just straight up Gourmandizes, okay. So I could just start pressuring with Rowlet? I think that makes sense. Yeah, it is available, so that's great. Um, I have the Roxy, so I might get a knockout on Minchino if it doesn't evolve. I even get the Meowth off of that, so that's really good. And a Sobble, so that was a really like amazing Bird Keeper. A truly amazing Bird Keeper. Alright. And then we have the follow-up full Roxy, which is crazy. Back to peak doesn't bother us, we have no abilities from Rule Box Pokemon. So that really doesn't bother us. Ah, uh, we see a bird keeper of my opponent, actually. Are we about to see a Rowlet here? Okay, my opponent did choose to evolve the non-damaged Sinchino, which I thought was peculiar. Very, very peculiar. Oh, it's Cinderace, okay. Well, that score bunny is a little bit threatened. Single strike score bunny, okay. Rosa. Um... I mean, we'll see what we got off of the Roxy, right? But if we get Persian and Esper, we're gonna be in a really good spot. Okay. So let's go, do I want to attach first? No. Because then whatever I don't get, I can search for. And I can use that energy to potentially retreat my friends. So the Sanchino does go down. I do take a prize. I got basically everything I could possibly hope for. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the Esper. I'm gonna attach the Capture. And get another sopple down, I guess. Yeah, why not? All right, so this level ball, we'll search 
for drizzle so I can start evolving and getting closer to the quick shooting attacks. This drizzle will grab, I guess, bird keeper for next turn. Nah, actually Roxy for next turn. Makes a little bit more sense. And then the Pokecom will send back the Mew. I don't think I have to be concerned about my bench. Ooh, I priced two Persians. That's actually potentially really bad. Okay, and we'll go after the dude that has the energy, right? Simple, straightforward. Is there a score bunny that has 70 HP? I'm honestly, I'd be shocked if there wasn't, and there we go. There we go, very nice, very, very nice. All right, we get our Samazenta V card, nice. So let's jump into the next game. All right. Who or what are we up against? Let's call it coin flip. Um, okay, we are going second. This hand's not particularly good. So I think the Rowlet has to be the sacrificial Pokemon here. Assuming my opponent can take a turn to knockout. All right, we see the Seishan, so probably a more serious deck. We see the ADP, so definitely a more serious deck. I don't think this deck could ever beat ADP, right? I mean, maybe this newer, the newer versions of ADP I don't play Seishan, so this is not one of the newer versions. But they also are playing four Herbaloons and only two switching cards, two escape ropes. Okay. There's the Herbaloon. Gets the energy. Yeah, we're in trouble. We are in a lot of trouble. I don't see how I could possibly ever win this game. Really, I don't see how I could possibly ever hope to win this game. Um, I just want to play out my my hand at this point and use Bruno for four because my opponent's not taking a knockout next turn. I have a lot of Pokemon Surge, so I'm not super worried. Yeah, there's the Drizzle. Okay, well, here goes nothing. We'll see. We have the Drizzle for the Roxy, and we'll see what we can do. I don't think we'll be able to win this one, though. I'm not sure we'll be able to win this one. All right. There's this straight up Altered Creation GX. Nothing we can do to stop that. So we're gonna get Roxy. And goodbye coughings. So we'll draw six cards. Okay, I definitely want to place damage. So what I'm thinking now is I can get Fion and potentially surprise my opponent with the Litten trapping the the station that they're gonna bring up or trapping the Tene, right? Okay, they immediately bring up Seishen, so we are going to establish the Persian, and then we'll use Litten and see if Litten can get us a Toolkit KO. Yeah, goodbye Esper. Let's see if Litten can use Big Bite to Toolkit KO the Seishen. I mean... I'm generally trying to be fancy here. I don't think this is a game-winning play, but I can't come up with anything else <laughs> at this moment. And since this is the more old-school variant of ADP, yeah, they definitely have switches. Absolutely every time they're gonna have the switches. All right, let's go to the next game. 
that's definitely a very bad loss, right? A very, very, very bad loss. Alrighty. We do win the coin flip. I would like to go first, definitely. Definitely, definitely want to go first. And we'll start, we are going first, so we'll start with the Meowth, we can evolve. We have good cards, mostly. And there's another good card. Um, in order to apply pressure, yeah, I guess another Sobble is good. Yeah, another Sobble seems all right. Okay, so we'll pass. We don't know what we're up against for sure, though. We have absolutely no idea what we are up against. Okay, my opponent uses a boss to stall. Um, okay, I imagine we're up against Eternatus, then maybe Dark Box, but probably Eternatus. There's Eternatus, as expected. As expected. All right. Double drizzle means I can get okay. Bird keeper plus um, Rowlet seems like the way to go here this turn. So we'll grab bird keeper. I guess I can bird keeper into Persian and then decide. Okay. Well, bird keeper into Persian. <laughs> I mean, Bird Keeper into Rowlet. Uh, yeah, I'll discard the Mew. It was either like, I was deciding between Quick Ball or Level Ball. And uh, that seemed okay. Using Quick Ball is better. I won't need the Mew. And Level Ball is just like, it doesn't require the discard later on. So that's pretty good. Alrighty. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, Professor's Research. Great ball. Damn. Probat. No Weavile, so no energy transfer. Could be energy switch, though. That retreat is peculiar, honestly, because I was not threatening the Sixagon in any way, shape, or form, so I don't quite understand that one. Um, so I could just damage this guy again. Uh, I kind of like the Roxy, though. To draw a lot of cards? Nah, I think I'll just go with the Bird Keeper here. Okay. Um, establishing another Sobble seems like a good idea. Or just getting the Quick Shooting Dude. That works too. Now I kind of like the flexibility that Sobble gives me. Um, by being able to find the... Um... No, I misclicked. I meant to click on the alternatives. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Um, well, how to make the game more complicated? This is how. Misclicks. Misclick a Roonies. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did that. Come on, Paolo. Okay. So 
So goodbye, Rowlet. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. This is fine. Okay. So we'll just straight up Roxy here. Get two damage counters on everything. Ooh, I did not find. I love Intilians. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven abilities. That's 140 plus 10, 150. 170 plus 80 to 50. That's nowhere near enough. 80 damage. I mean, yeah, I guess I don't need to. If I search for. It's okay, I don't need to KO a turn to this turn. Um, 8 damage counters, 160, so I do KO the Moltres, which is nice. So I think that's what I'm doing this turn, and I'm just gonna put the damage here. And your Kinesis. I was about to misclick yet again. <laughs> I was about to misclick yet again on the other alternatives. Okay, two prize cards. There's the Fion to send back the dude. My opponent has not played any Marnies against me, but they are down three bosses and three research. I didn't want their last boss to go towards the Persian, so that's why I benched the Meowth, because the, that would have like really delayed me. There's a Marnie, as mentioned. There is a Marnie, as expected. Okay, but we have access to Drizzle. Having that Sobble down also really, really important. Claw Slash for 90, could that ever be a thing? No, right? And I have Double Antillion now. Okay, so let's send that guy to the bench. That works. Okay, then we'll go quick wall for an Esper. What a beautiful handoff of that Marty. That's not something you usually hear me say. <laughs> and we're gonna wreck a Genitus right here, I feel. We'll get a Bruno. I guess technically I should have just kept a drizzle in my hand. Like, I don't need more cards this turn. Uh, is there a merit to putting back stuff? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so one quick shooting means I get the knockout on this Eternatus. And then one more quick shooting here means I don't even need to attack next turn to win, basically. So that's pretty nice. Yeah. Bye bye Eternatus. I did do the maths correctly, which is nice. Always, it's always good to do the maths. I guess I could have knocked out the six Sigun this turn and then just actually, no, never mind. Never mind, I couldn't have knocked out six Sigun this turn. Uh, but yeah, now it's game over. Double quick shooting. Take my last prize card. GG against true evil. Yeah, this deck, like, it's pretty fun, it can be pretty powerful. I guess just dodge ADP and you're fine. <laughs> just dodge ADP and you're fine, which applies a lot to single price Pokemon decks, right? That's usually a story with those. But yeah, thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this Catch-A-Day gameplay, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.